Hello dear friends, in this session we are going to understand creating and using MongoDB database. As we know MongoDB is one of the most powerful and popular NoSQL database available in the market. We will discuss how to download and install the MongoDB database. After that we will understand how to create a database in MongoDB, how to create collections which is somewhat similar to table in NoSQL database. Then how to insert a record into table, how to select, how to insert, update, delete and find the record uh, from the collections which are there in MongoDB database. So let's start. So to install the MongoDB database, you search for the MongoDB download. Once you click on it, you will get the link like this. From the links, you can click on this link, MongoDB community server download to download the community server once you download it so once you click on it you will find this particular link here you have to select this mongodb you have to select this particular community server and then you have to click on the download option so once you click on the download a exe file will be downloaded on your machine you just have to click on that and you follow the instruction and download the MongoDB database. After that, a MongoDB database will be installed on your machine. To open the MongoDB database, you search for the MongoDB compass on your start menu and then click on the MongoDB compass. Once you click on the MongoDB compass, you will get this particular window. From this, so you have to select the, from, from this you can create, you can find the existing database which are there in MongoDB. So these are the three predefined databases, admin, config and local in MongoDB. You can create database by click, by selecting this particular link. If you want to create one more database, you can provide the database name here. If you want to create a collection inside it, you can also provide the collection in that and you can click on this create database option so we will find here the student database is created and in which the student collection is created if you want to add the data into that you can click on this add button but instead of understanding this particular operation in graphic mode we will understand in command mode for creating and using mongodb database from mongodb shell you have to download the MongoDB shell from MongoDB website. Once you download it, you will get a zip file on which the MongoDB shell program is there. Here, inside the bin folder of MongoDB shell, you will find the Mongo SH application. You just have to double click on it. After that, it asks for the connection string. You can get the connection string from MongoDB compass which we have already installed on this machine. So to get the connection string, you just have to select this local host colon 27. Once you click on here, you will get the copy connection string link. And this connection string that you have to paste on MongoDB shell. So I am, here I am adding this connection string. After that, I can connect to the MongoDB database. So this is the default prompt of MongoDB database. If I want to show the existing database available in MongoDB, I can use the command show DBS. To use any particular data existing database, I can use the command use admin. So here the prompt is changed now. We are in admin prompt. To show the different collections available in uh, this admin database we can use the command show collections system dot version and admins are the collection in this database to create a new database in mongodb you just have to use the command use student so database will be created here you will get the message called switch to deep switch to student 
student to, to insert the collection or to create a collection into it you just have to use the command db dot stud stud is the name of the collection or name of the table that you want to create you can specify here any valid table name and then you have to use the command insert to insert the record into this collection so to insert the record we have to use the insert function and inside the insert function you have to use the opening and closing curly bracket and inside it you have to specify your record in the form of key value pair suppose we want to specify the roll number as a first column or as a first key you can use the roll number like this the roll number is a key and the 10 is the value of that roll number similar to that if i want to save the if i want to create one more column called name i can create the column like this and in in which i want to insert the value as dash then the third column i want to insert as percentage then colon suppose so like that i can insert the values into this student collection so here is one record is inserted but showing the message that insert is duplicated use insert or insert many or bulk write right okay to get the record whether the record is inserted or not you can use the command db dot uh, stud dot find so this will show you the the record that is previously inserted into this database previously inserted into this collection suppose you want to insert one more record we can use either insert one insert or insert many command db dot stud dot insert one then in bracket roll number eleven then name ram and then percentage. like that i want i can insert many record into it okay to get the record i can use the command db dot stud dot file these are the two record that i have inserted okay to update the value of particular record to update the value of particular record into this collection i can use the command called update update is just is a function which requires the three parameters the first parameter is the criteria the second parameter is the actual value that is to be set and the third parameter is if that criteria is not matched whether you want to insert the record into that so these three parameters you can specify to this update function the first is the criteria so here I am specifying the criteria as roll number equal to suppose 10 I want to change the value of uh, change the name of the roll number 10 so I can the syntax is like this so now this one record is inserted here we can see here the name of the Roll number 10 is changed while updating if there is no rec matching record available in that collection a record can also be inserted into the collection with the help of update command so how it insert the new record if the no matching record is available in existing collection that we'll see so here to update the student collection so I need to use db dot stud dot update. Then the three parameter we need to specify in curly bracket. Second and third. This is the syntax. In the third bracket, 
third curly bracket you can use the command absurd equal to absurd colon true absurd colon to it indicate that if the no matching record is there in the collection the new record will be absurded or inserted so here i am searching for the record whose roll number is 11 whose roll number is 12 this is the no, this is not a case roll number 12 is not there in the stud collection but i am trying to search for this and if the record is present i want to set the value for this to set the value we have to use the set keyword here and in front of the set keyword we want to change the name of this roll number 12 suppose roll number 12 is not there so new name will be added here so i want to change the name of the if the roll number 12 is there i want to insert roll number as 12 if the roll number 12 is there i want to keep the roll number as 10 12 then name as name as suppose sunil name as sunil and percentage as 90.90 okay so here record 12 is not present earlier in the collection so so this upset equal to true we will insert the new record into this collection so let's see whether it insert so now it's showing the message that acknowledge true inserted the new record is inserted matched match count equal to 0 modified count equal to 0 and upset it count equal to 1 it means a new record is added in the stud collection we can see here the record 12 is added into this collection okay in this way we can update the record into mongodb database in in a particular collection now we'll move towards how can we remove a particular record from the collection to remove the record from a collection we can use this command remove or delete stud dot delete one to delete the single record from the collection we can use the command delete one delete one or we can also use remove to re remove a single record from the collection we can use the function called delete one then inside this function you have to specify the criteria that the roll number equal to 10 so we want to delete the record whose roll number equal to 10 we can specify the command like this so now it displaying the message that acknowledge true deleted one it means the one record is deleted we can see here roll number 10 is no more in the collection now suppose we want to delete many records of matching roll number or matching criteria so for that i am inserting one more record into this so here again 12 is not there 12 i want to change the i am going to search for 12 13 13 is not there if 13 is not there i am inserting 12 here okay now one more record is inserted we can see here now there are two record whose roll number is 12 now we want to delete many record many record from this so we can use the command like this okay db dot uh, db dot remove many uh, delete many delete many then in bracket roll number equal to 12 okay now this will delete a two record from this collection
delete mini is not a delete one okay delete one delete one is not a function okay 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 so we have to use the collection stood dot delete many stood dot delete many roll number 12 so here delete count equal to 2 it means two records are deleted from this collection we can check whether the records are deleted now here the only one record is there so in this way we can use the different command like insert update delete find etc suppose we want to search i am going to insert one more record into this collection to insert the record i can use the command insert one insert one to insert one record the criteria is the syntax is the roll number are uh, 13 then name colon suppose dash and percentage colon suppose 16.80 so i have inserted okay so we need to specify this dash in double quotation okay now I am going to insert one more record into this roll number 40 and name is run v percentage is suppose 70 ok now we will see these are the three different records which are added I want to search for a particular record how can we search suppose I want to search whether the roll number uh, 11 is present in the collection or name Darsh is present in the collection I can search the record like this db dot stood dot find in back it find in back it roll number colon 10 now it will show me so there is no rule record whose roll number is 10 okay now I am searching for roll number 11 there is single record whose roll number is 10 I am searching for the name name equal to suppose RAN here run me name equal to run me so there is a single record whose name is run me so in this way we can search for a particular recording collection so now we will see how can we remove the collection to remove the collection we can use this command like this db dot stood dot remove and what you want to remove db dot uh, suppose we want to drop the collection entire collection we can use the command called db dot drop db dot stood dot drop so this will drop the collection so there is no collection in this database if i want to if i try to search for the try to display the different collections so there is no collection in the database similar to that if i want to delete the entire database i can use the command db dot drop data base db dot drop database is the command to delete the entire database so here ok drop like student so then we will see if I try to get the different dbs available in this database in the mongodb I can use the command like this there is no student database if I want to use the local and then again I am using the same command you will find there is no database called student so in this way we can perform the different operation in MongoDB database. I hope you understand. Thank you.